Hello everyone, got a few dirty jokes for you today. So, a boy grows up being told by his mother never to touch a woman's private parts because they have teeth. One day when he's older, he starts seeing a lovely girl who he begins to fall in love with. Things are going great, but she starts to feel frustrated at his lack of sexual progression with her. Finally, she decides to broach the subject. She says, Hey, I really like you, and I'm really getting into our relationship. But how come whenever we're making out, you never touch me? I'd love it if you did. Oh, no, he says. My mom always told me, never touch a woman's private parts. They have teeth down there, she says. That's completely ridiculous, and I'll prove it. She strips naked and spreads her beautiful legs apart, giving him a very intimate view. See, she says, no teeth. The young man crouches down and looks carefully. No wonder, he says. Look at the state of your gums. <laughs> So a young lawyer heads from the big city to a small rural town where he'll be trying his first case solo over the course of a couple of weeks. During the first week, he gets friendly with a pretty young waitress about his age at the local diner across from the courthouse, where he eats every lunch and dinner while he's there. The next week, he spends every evening with her after his post-dinner trial prep. And the night before the end of his trial, she stays the night with him. He wins his trial, packs up his car, and has his last meal at the diner before he heads back home. He and the girl exchange numbers and say their awkward goodbyes. A year later, the lawyer's business brings him back to that same small town after absolutely no contact between them either way. As he's walking down the sidewalk toward the courthouse, Someone familiar is walking toward him, pushing a stroller with twins. After they exchange a hug and hellos, the lawyer notices that the twin boys in the stroller bear a striking resemblance to himself. The young man asks, Are, are these my children? The young woman replies, Yes. They do have your eyes, don't they? The man says, Why didn't you call? I would have helped. We could have gotten married. Well, the girl says, I talked to my mama and daddy about it. And I talked to my preacher about it. And they all agreed that it'd be better to have two bastards in the family than a lawyer. <laughs> so a few days ago, I was out for my weekly 10 miles jog with my friend. We ran through a swarm of bees. He was stung and collapsed within about 30 seconds. He was looking in severe distress and was having trouble breathing, so I called 911. The ambulance got there in about five minutes, but he had already lost consciousness. They tried to revive him on the scene, but they said was too late. He was gone. I was in total shock. I went to his wake yesterday. I offered my condolences to his wife, Liz. She was in total shell shock. He was 52, but in fantastic health. Jim ran every day, but we'd also meet up once per week to run 10 miles for fun, just to push each other a bit. So I told her, Liz, before Jim lost consciousness, he reached into his running shorts and pulled out this blue and yellow thing that says Epi Pen and gave it to me. It seemed to be very important to him, so I want you to have it. <laughs> so one day, after striking gold in the Yukon, a lonesome miner came down from the mountains and walked into a saloon in the nearest town. I'm looking for the meanest, toughest, and roughest streetwalker in Alaska, he said to the bartender. We got her, replied the bartender. She's upstairs in the second room on the right. The miner handed the bartender a gold nugget to pay for the streetwalker and two beers. He grabbed the bottles, stomped up the stairs, 
kicked the door open on the second door on the right and yelled, I'm looking for the meanest, roughest, and toughest streetwalker in Alaska. The woman inside the room looked at the miner and said, You found her. Then she stripped naked, bent over, and grabbed her ankles. How did you know I wanted you in that position? Asked the miner. I didn't, replied the streetwalker, but I thought you might want to open those beers first. <laughs> so a man calls his boss one Tuesday morning and tells his boss, Sorry, chief. I can't come to work today. I'm sick. The boss replies, No problem, Mr. Allen. Get well. Next day, he comes to work. Looks fine. No sign of any health problems. Works just fine for the whole week. Then calls the boss again on Tuesday saying, Sorry, chief. Sick again. Can't work today. The same story repeats a third time, a fourth time. Finally, the boss tires of it and calls the man to his office and says, Listen, Mr. Allen. You are a good worker, but what is this deal with you being sick? There is no such thing that a man is sick each Tuesday and fine on other days. Explain. Mr. Allen replies, Well, you see, Chief, it's my sister. Her life has been really off lately. So, each Tuesday she comes over to complain about another jerk or two who broke her heart. She cries about it. I console her, we drink a bit, and we end up, well, in bed. The boss, completely shocked, starts screaming. In bed, with your sister. What are you, sick? Mr. Allen replies, well, yes, chief. I told you right away, I'm sick. So, a married man was having an affair with his secretary. One day, their passions overcame them in the office, and they took off for her house. Exhausted from the afternoon's activities, they fell asleep and awoke at around 8 p.m. As the man threw on his clothes, he told the woman to take his shoes outside and rub them through the grass and dirt. Confused, she nonetheless complied and he slipped into his shoes and drove home. Where have you been? demanded his wife when he entered the house. Darling, replied the man, I can't lie to you. I've been having an affair with my secretary. I fell asleep in her bed and didn't wake up until eight o'clock. The wife glanced down at his shoes and said, You liar, you've been playing golf. <laughs> <laughs> so a rabbi goes into a tailor's and asks for a pair of pants. The tailor takes his measurements and says that the pants may take a few weeks. He comes back the next week and they aren't ready. He comes back the week after that and they still aren't ready. He comes back the third week and they still aren't ready. After six weeks, the pants are finally ready and they fit the rabbi perfectly. The rabbi complains, saying, you know it only took God six days to create the world. The tailor retorts, oh, but look at these pants and look at the world. <laughs> so an owl is sitting at the top of his very own pine tree. One day, the tree starts violently shaking. He looks down and sees an elephant at the bottom starting to climb the tree. What do you think you're doing? Asks the owl. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just coming up to eat some apples, says the elephant. You idiot. This is a pine tree. There are no apples up here, says the owl. The elephant says, I brought my own. So, a lady comes home from her doctor's appointment, grinning from ear to ear. Her husband asks, Why are you so happy? The wife says, The doctor told me that for a 45-year-old woman, I have the breasts of an 18-year-old. Oh, yeah, quipped her husband. 
What did he say about your 45-year-old ass? She said, your name never came up in the conversation. 